This story has nothing to do with Chicago, except that I'm currently in Chicago traffic. Which makes this travelogue a bit more of a recap of previous adventures. We'll get to the long story in a bit, but the short story is that I was coming down here to build a motorcycle for a bike build competition in New York. I know this is kind of all over the place, but bear with me. And these guys had the bright idea of having me build the bike in the bus while driving across the country to Austin, Texas, because we wanted to see the hand-built show, Two Birds, One Stone. I like Two Birds with One Stone. <laughs> What's the problem, Josh? Use my church pants. God damn it. Eating pizza already? Shut up. So we're about five minutes into the drive and Josh is adamant about building this motorcycle. You got me framed up, right? Sure, bud. So it was about five weeks ago when I called Aaron over here and said, Coming down in a couple weeks to build a motorcycle. Say hang on. And then Aaron said, Well, what about the hand built show in Texas? And I was like, Aaron, I don't know if that's gonna happen. He said, Well, we have a school bus. Get your camera ready. There's agents. I'm gonna ask them how to drive. Hi. Do you know somewhere I can park this beast? My good friend Andrew said we could park in front of his house, use his facilities. The only problem is his house is on a nine-degree grade. So I have to compensate all of my angles. Now remember, as you use that air to bend that pipe, we lose a uh, parking brake, so. so. I was building this bike for the Dirtbag Challenge up in New York, which requires builders to build a motorcycle, a custom motorcycle, for less than $1,000 in less than a month. Naturally, I decided that wasn't challenge enough. Turns out it's actually quite difficult. And naturally, I fell flat on my face. This thing's a lot bumpier than you might imagine or it's just as bumpy as you might imagine. I mean, we're building a bike in a fucking bus. At this point, I wish I could tell you that we went to the hand-built show and had a great time and came out the other end with a custom motorcycle. Sadly, that was not the case. We got back to Norfolk. I pulled the motorcycle out of the jig and, well, things just weren't lining up for me. I sat there for a few minutes in my own self-misery and decided, well, time to try again. There is a bit of silver lining. I was able to build this entire bike in less than five days. Well, kinda. I was never able to get it running right. I wish I could tell you that this shot of me loading this bike into the back of my van was because I was on my way to New York for a successful dirtbag challenge, but turns out that was not the case and that it's the present day and I sold the bike. So, better luck next year.
the fucking lug nuts are stripped. I'm sorry, I just have to capture this. Is this a police officer eating a donut? I'm off duty. Don't fucking judge me. You know? It's because of stereotypes like that that I've never enjoyed a donut on duty. And I've wanted to. <laughs> You've secretly enjoyed it though, haven't you? No, it's like I can't. True story, okay? Get into a fight with this dude, OC spray him. Accidentally OC spray myself in the in the in the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot. I have to go in to wash my face out, and I almost just bared with being OC sprayed rather than people think I was going to Dunkin' Donuts to eat rather than washing OC spray out. That, I'm damaged, man. Yeah, I used to care what people thought, and then I stopped.